Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we just bless you. We just give you praise. We give you thanks. We give you honor. We give you glory. For this is the day that you have made, and mighty God, we rejoice and are glad to be in it. Facebook live stream family, Lighthouse Empowerment Sanctuary. We are giving God thanks on this Sunday that we can bless the Lord, Sunday, 23rd May, 2021. We are in the land of the living, and we are in a place of hope. The Bible tells us that our God is able. The Bible tells us that He is our present help. Today in Trinidad and Tobago is designated a day of prayer, and we want to continue to lift our nation in this time of crisis, in this time of pandemic, uh, amidst of all, uh, you know, what is taking place and the medical intervention, we need the hand of God to intervene. Uh, and, you know, today we continue to trust God for what he has done and what he is doing. Uh, many are falling, you know, victim to the virus and some relatives. Uh, but we are saying, thank God for his healing virtue. Thank God that... Uh, he is always a present helper. So today we want to stand in our very homes, in our living spaces, and we want to bless the Lord. Remember, we are doing communion on this Sunday again as well. And we just want to, you know, give God a high note of praise. So up on your feet, and we just want to bless the Lord today. Hallelujah. Father, we just give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory, Almighty God. And we say thank you for you are great and you are awesome. Your name is above every other name. And we just bless you today, our oh Father. Father, we just exalt you and we say thank you, Lord. We look to you, mighty God, that your name continue to be exalted on the earth. That your name, Father God, we know it holds power and it holds authority. We are grateful today because we know, mighty God, that the finished work on the cross has given us the victory again and again. The finished work on the cross, Father, have caused us to be overcomers. We are thankful that you have made us more than victorious in this land and Lord we bless you we bless you we shout our praises in the atmosphere declaring great and mighty is the Lord our God great and mighty is here wonderful Savior a blessed Redeemer a friend that stick it closer than a brother father we just exalt you today and we say take all the praise take all the honor take all the glory Oh, we say amen to our Father God. We bless, we bless. We say champion God. Show yourself strong again in the midst of a nation, Father God, that will cry out. We are saying God, even as ministers of the gospel, will cry for this land. Father, we are declaring that there will be a turnaround. For if your people will humble themselves and seek your face and turn from their wicked ways, mighty God, if the people of the land uh, will turn father we know that you will hear you will answer you will forgive and heal the land. So, Father, we are thanking you in advance. For we know, mighty God, that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And today we lift our Sunday morning virtual service before you. We are saying, mighty God, be honored, be glorified. Lord, be exalted in every aspect of this service. For it's not about an individual, but it's all about you. And we are saying, God, take preeminence. Be glorified. Hallelujah. We seek to make your praise glorious one more time. Lord, that you receive all the honor and all the glory. We bless you. Let the anointing rain down. Do in our homes. Let the people feel the anointing. Those that are crying out, Father, for whatever reason, whether it be sickness, whether it be financial rescue, whether it be a healing mighty God, whether it be a deliverance, what Whatever the situation we are saying, God, uh, let them feel your power, let them feel your touch in their very homes. Uh, I cancel the spirit of distraction among the believers this day, uh, and I'm declaring one accord, uh, unison. Uh, I declare an attentive spirit uh, to honor you in worship uh, and to receive the word. Uh, I call forth in the name of Jesus uh, a mindset uh, that is willing to give God uh, the best, uh, dear best this day. Awesome. Father, we say thank you and we bless you. We give you praise. We give you honor and glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. 
So we want to say welcome again to our Facebook live stream family. We thank God today for this virtual service. Hallelujah. Put your hands together with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are thanking God for every victory that we have secured uh, over the past few days and even before that. Uh, we're seeing the hand of the Lord in the midst of the people. Uh, and I want you to rejoice in the Lord. Uh, the Bible tells us to rejoice. Uh, yes, we are in troubled times. Uh, but him that know his God, hallelujah. We know the power of our God. Uh, in the midst of your situation, uh, let praise arise. Don't say you can't praise God this morning. Come on, you got your hands. Uh, you have got even your right mind. You can throw your hands in the air and bless the Lord. Children of a lighthouse, hallelujah. Lift your hands and praise the Lord. You know, sometimes you're just there and hands in pocket or just watching. But it is a time where you want to honor God for truly he deserves the praise. It's a surrender time. A surrender heart. A surrender life. A surrender you are. So that your praise is coming out this morning with power and God will inhabit the praise of his people. Let our praise come forth. Hallelujah. Let praise bubble forth from the inside out. Hallelujah. Lord, we just bless you and we magnify your name. Oh, we give you glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. We bless the name. Hallelujah. Of Jehovah God. We say faithful father, wonderful friend. We say mighty, mighty in battle. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the Lord with me. Somebody give Jehovah God praise. Hallelujah. It's beyond just singing a song, but it's getting into the song in that you know that you know that your God has done something for you. It's not entertainment. It's not mere words, but it's the spirit of the living God where you are charged to give him something this day, where you are charged to give him your best praise. Hallelujah. Father, we just say thank you and we just bless you Lord. We bless you. At this time we want to turn to Sister Crystal and Pastor Christopher Conley that will take us into a time of worship and praise, adoration unto our Father. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. We bless the name of Jehovah. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's waiting to be praised this morning. Amen. Father, we just bless you, Lord. Yeah. We worship the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are worthy to be praised. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, because I want to see I want to see you. 
said the Lord of Lords. He deserves all of our worship. Father, we love you, we love you, we love you, we love you. Jesus, we just bless you, Lord.
His presence. We communion in hand. You know, communion is a time where you as an individual should do self-introspection. We do not partake of this because we believe it is magical. We partake because we have confessed, we have repented, and we have confessed Jesus as Lord. We have went into the water to follow through in baptism. And when we stand before God's table and we stand before his presence to partake in the covenant meal, because certainly he has given us a new covenant. We are no longer under the old where the blood of animal is required. It is. It was insufficient. Because every year they would have had to repeat their activities. Now through Christ, we have been made victorious. So as you hold the bread in your hand, the Bible tells us in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, from verses 23 in the modern translation it says, For this is what the Lord himself said as I pass it on to you. Just as I have received it, on the night when he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup of wine. And after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant between God and you, sealed by the shedding of my blood. Do this in remembrance of me as often 
as you drink it. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes again. So if any man eat of this bread or drink this cup of the Lord unworthily, Amen. Amen. He shall be not honoring the body of Christ. You are eating and drinking God's judgment upon your own self. That is why many of you are weak and sick and some have even died. But if you would examine yourselves, we will not be examined by God and judged in this way. But when we are judged and disciplined by the Lord, we will not be condemned with the world. So brothers and sisters, when you are, have gathered together for the Lord's Supper, wait for each other. If you are really hungry, eat at home so you won't bring judgment upon yourself when you meet together. Father, we thank you for this wafer. We bless it and we sanctify it. Knowing that we have received from a new covenant, that your blood is the ultimate sacrifice for sin. We thank you, Lord, uh, that even uh, on this day, we can partake in Jesus' mighty name, giving us the perks and benefits uh, that was released even through the finished work on the cross. Uh, Father, we thank you even as we partake in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let us partake of the bread. As we said, the wine represents the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. And in representing the blood, it gives us the victory because the blood is a symbol of the victory that we have attained through the cross of Jesus Christ. So know that you are victorious, not only over sin today, but even over sickness as the earth and our nation of Trinidad and Tobago is in a difficult time. Know that sickness is not your portion as you partake. Know that you are victorious, but you are not partaking as a snack. This is not a snack. This is the covenant meal. Uh, and just as you trust God and you love God and you give him your life and you obey him, he shall protect in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you. We bless. We sanctify. Uh, and we declare as we partake uh, of this wine which represents your blood uh, that the victory is won again and again. In Jesus' mighty name, let us partake of the wine.
In Psalms 1, verse 3. And the believer shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. When you look at anything planted by the river, it maintains its greenery. It maintains that nutrition. The soil is in such a place where there is no drought that whatever sustenance is needed, it is receiving from the soil it is planted in and the surroundings, the environment. Bible says, and he shall bring forth his fruit in its season. His leave also shall not wither and whatsoever he do shall prosper. The child of God that will be anchored in Christ will prosper. It is the scripture. We will prosper. Someone came recently and was just saying, but girl, you are prospering in a pandemic when I look at what you have been doing. Whether it's a pandemic or normal lifestyle, it is the word of God and the word of God is what it is. Amen. If we honor and we serve in spirit and in truth, the things that we say, we will have. Amen. It is important that we recognize that God cannot fail. It is important that we recognize uh, that we are planted uh, to succeed. Amen. Amen. Uh, we are planted to succeed. Uh, in this moment, you may say, I'm not seeing anything. Uh, it's because you are still under the earth. Uh, because the plant will go under the earth uh, and then it will break the earth uh, and push through. Uh, your pushing through is coming. Uh, it may be a few more hours. Uh, it may be a few more days. Uh, but it's coming in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, as you hold fast to the confession of your faith, uh, God is true to his word. Uh, he keeps all all of his promises hallelujah that is why we rejoice in the Lord that is why we can quote the Psalms even 91 he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide shall dwell under the shadows of the Almighty when you are living and you are dwelling in the place of Jehovah God great things will come your way yes you will be tried and you will be tested but it's okay for everyone who want to be academically incline. You must be tested. You must be tested in the work. And it's the same way for the child of God. When you want to do it for God, you will be tested. When you want to go out in the highways and in the byways, you will be tested. And character must be proven so that God can release his secrets and his mystery unto you so that you will be an effective worker 
for the kingdom of righteousness. Uh, many people want to go without having character. Many people want to go just on a feel good or knowing two or three scriptures. Uh, Bible tells us that we ought to be anchored in him. Uh, we ought to be able to rightly divide the word of truth. Uh, we ought to know the word and live the word. Uh, so each believer should be able to be like, uh, as the Bible say, iron sharp on iron. Uh, you got to be sharp so that when you come together, you are able to encourage one another. You are releasing something that's a blessing. You are releasing words of exhortation. So child of God, today it is important that you know who you are and whose you are. Hallelujah. Whether you are home, you are at your work, you are on the street, you are at the marketplace, wherever you are, fear not for our God is able. We turn today to the book of Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians chapter 2. And in looking at the book of Thessalonians, the purpose of the book of Thessalonians written to the church of Jesus Christ and to strengthen the Thessalonica people about their faith. It was a, a church that was established uh, just about two or three years before this letter was written to them. So they were a baby church. They now began. They were in infancy stage. And they were doing favorably well. But there was a misunderstanding about the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And the Apostle Paul had to clarify to them in certain parts of the scripture that you have to continue to work, you have to continue to occupy until Christ come. Because he's coming again, yes. But you can't quit all that you need to be doing. You need to still go to your daily job. You can't wait and say Christ is coming and you sit there and you're looking up to the heaven. Jesus is coming again again and all you're doing is sitting there while you are waiting on the Lord. You continue to do your daily duties. You continue to report for work. You continue to function. You continue to do whatever you need to do while you are keeping your eyes through prayer. Bible say pray without ceasing in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17. Bible also says to rejoice evermore and to give thanks with that grateful heart. So friends while you continue to do what you are called to do, we are looking, hallelujah, our spiritual eyes are upon him for his coming, hallelujah, what a day that will be when the Lord shall come and take his bride away, anybody ready for that day when the Lord will come, the church must be on board, the church must be ready, the true church will be ready because he's coming for a blood washed people, he's coming for people that are born again, one without spot, one without wrinkle, a virgin church in the a church that did not play with the gospel but then they keep themselves as a chaste virgin they keep themselves as one that love the bridegroom my friends today we need to serve the Lord in purity in spirit and in truth <coughs> excuse me it is important that you understand <coughs> It's important to understand that the church of Jesus Christ was not birthed under man but under God himself. And whatever is taking place on the earth, God is still in control. People are making everything a problem. There are times and seasons in your life that you just got to let go and let go. Anybody has reached that place? To let go and let go. Let God have his way. So when you look into the word today, and before I go into the word, I want to thank God for the testimonies that are coming in. I've been praying for a few people that have been, you know, um, attacked with the virus. And some have it, they were tested positive. And some very, very close relatives were tested positive. And we continue to pray and we are hearing, even last night I prayed for one, um, actually two persons and, uh, you know, even with one, we got a, a positive report this morning that, you know, there is a change. So we continue to give God thanks and we continue to pray. So, Sister D, we continue to pray for the family and we continue to declare over the gentleman's life and his family that it is well in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that the God of our salvation is more than able. I heard the fear. I saw the fear last night in you. 
But our God is a good God. Uh, and it's always an opportunity to bless the Lord. Uh, when he comes out of this, we are standing in great faith no matter what we see. Mm -hmm. Once there is life, I say there is hope. Uh, and our hope is built uh, on nothing else but Jesus' blood and righteousness. Uh, Jesus Christ and righteousness. Uh, so those of you that have families and you're on the live stream uh, and they have the virus, uh, you do what you have to do and pray for them. Uh, you can call them on the phone. You don't visit if you have to drop off thing you know you hang it on the gate if there is a gate or let them put a table outside uh, and you know they, you just rest whatever it is uh, you do a sanitizing and you just leave uh, it's not a time to spread uh, or to communicate uh, via physical contact it's a time uh, where you just have to you know separate yourself times and season uh, child of God uh, God will bless us as we are obedient to his word amen uh, and he will bless us even as we seek uh, to foster the unity of the saints in whatever way so when we look at the early church the first Christian, uh, the first century Christian, uh, many of them faced their mortality. Why? Because the church was under persecution because it was a new way of living. It wasn't in the old, uh, under the old covenant, but it was uh, under the new. Uh, and uh, even the Jews and others around, uh, neighboring uh, you know, communities could not have accepted the doctrine that was coming, some of them, uh, because they find uh, that it was interfering with their income, it was interfering uh, with their belief, it was interfering uh, with the people, uh, and you know, they had problems, so they were persecuted and put to death. Uh, I rejoice even in this time, in this part of the globe where we live, uh, we are not put to death for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, we will be, you know, at times uh, uh, tried, uh, we will be at times tested. Uh, people may make fun of us. The Bible tells us in the last days there will be mockers and scoffers. Uh, so while I'm preaching, if somebody come on, they may laugh at me, uh, they may say something on. They said, they said, as the preacher lady, that was so whatever it is. Uh, I care not because the Bible tells me this is how it will be. Uh, people will do. Uh, they will become lovers of themselves. Uh, they will be mockers and scoffers of God's word. Uh, they have no time for God uh, because they are living in a world where the God of this world have blinded their minds. Uh, and they live in that place of darkness. Uh, but we who have seen the light, come on somebody. We who have experienced the hand of God, uh, you know without a shadow of your a doubt uh, that the God of our salvation, uh, he is able, he is able, he is able, he is great, uh, he is a mighty, he is awesome, uh, he is powerful, uh, his name is a strong yes. tower, Bible said the righteous run in and they are saved, uh, he is a mighty to save, uh, even in this moment, hallelujah, when it looked like everything uh, is collapsing, uh, I'll tell you uh, that the good news still stand, uh, for this word is forever settled in the heaven and whatever is collapsing this word it will never collapse because the word is eternal and we are carriers of the word and we are born of this word and we are born of the spirit of truth and therefore we have become eternal that joint heir with Jesus Christ so child of God you gotta know your word and you gotta live the word now is no time for fleshly living but it's a time to be in the word living the word and executing against the kingdom of darkness uh, for truly the days are upon us uh, where Bible says uh, the days shall be uh, shortened for the elect's sake uh, we are seeing the times uh, and we are experiencing things we have never experienced uh, but glory be to God uh, our hope is in the Lord uh, our trust is in the Lord uh, and whatever God has said uh, we will uh, obey his word hallelujah. hallelujah we give him glory put your hands together for the Lord Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We're chapter 2. Bible tells us. For yourselves, brethren, know our entrance in unto you. First Thessalonians. That it was not in vain. But even after that we had suffered before, and was shamefully entreated. And I want you to read with me. Shamefully entreated. As you know at Philippi, we were bold in our God to speak unto you the gospel of God with much contention. So amidst Paul's persecution, 
his suffering, as the Bible says. And he was shamefully treated. Yet, it did not stop him from preaching the gospel. What will stop you from being a witness? Paul, from Saul to Paul, he continued steadfastly in the word, in the breaking of bread, in the sharing of the wine, and releasing the word on a daily basis. What are you releasing on a daily basis? The word, the entrance of the word giveth light, and his spirit gives a life. Bible tells us that we ought to live this word. James said to be a doer of the word, not just hearers, but doers. You are hearing the word, but are you doing it? Are you still living in self? You may have a struggle, but I speak to your struggle today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that the power of the mighty God is greater than all other power, and your struggle is over in the name of Jesus. I bring it under the blood, and I declare your mindset shall be transformed that there shall be a visitation from heaven uh, that no matter what persecution you face uh, like Paul uh, you will continue to be a witness for the true and living God amen, amen. hallelujah somebody amen. so they were treated badly at Philippi but you know it didn't deter them sometimes you witness to somebody and they didn't treat you right you were shamed but in your shaming you don't want to Carry the gospel no more. Child of God, you're going to get tough. And continue to do what you are called to do. Because you are now born again. And it is a mandate upon each believer's life to carry the gospel. Hallelujah. You may hit some rough roads and you may hit some roadblocks. But in your roadblocks, it is not to stop you indefinitely from going forward. It's just short term. Hallelujah. You're going to press your way through. Press. Hallelujah. Press. Press your way through, hallelujah. That's a song we used to sing some time back. And child of God, in this season, we are not going to stop, but we're going to press our way through. We're going to continue to live in the midst of this situation. Some people are fearful for various reasons, but we will not fear, for the Lord has given us that soundness of mind. He has given us that peace that passes all understanding. He has given us a joy in the midst of trouble and tribulation. We know our God, and because we know, you know, He live. We can face tomorrow because He live. Hallelujah! All fear is gone. Hallelujah! Because He live. Hallelujah! Glory, glory, glory! You gotta know that your God live. It's a joyful time when you understand the gospel. You can just be in there and be joyous in your praise. Some people may say, "What you have to be joyous about? The fact that I'm in the land." of the living, uh, the fact that I have a hope in Jesus, uh, the fact that I'm living in this dispensation, uh, the fact that I'm breathing, I'm walking, I'm moving, uh, I give God the glory, I give God the honor, and I bless his name. Uh, I got something to rejoice about uh, because the Lord has been good to me. Uh, he has been my keeper. He woke me up this morning. Uh, I can feel him in my hands. Uh, I can feel him in my feet. Uh, I can feel him all over me. Hallelujah. When people say you wouldn't make it, God say yes you will when you get a bad report you can see the hand of God coming in and changing that report I got much to rejoice about I'm not going to think about the things that I didn't receive as yet because it's coming in the name of Jesus I say it's coming, it's coming, it's coming whatever I'm seeing going on I know that God have a plan and he has a purpose and he still holds the universe together because Jehovah has a final say and because he has the final say, I learn to trust and obey. To be happy in Jesus, I must trust and obey. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you are just eating up yourself. I want to say to you, if you are ashamed for the gospel, it is okay, right, Pastor? It is okay if you are ashamed for the gospel. Right, Sister Crystal? Hallelujah. When you are made to be put to shame for the gospel, it's all right. You don't recoil and say, I can't witness no more. You don't know what that person tells me. It matters not what they say. Mouth give itself liberty. But you are liberated from those speeches or from those things. Why? Because who the man, who the son of man set free? 
is free indeed. So the gospel will continue to flow out. Hallelujah. Rivers of living water. The woman at the well couldn't help herself uh, because she encountered living water. Water that was going to just flow out. Hallelujah. Water that was flowing in and flowing out. She couldn't keep it to herself. Uh, was something worth sharing. Uh, someone worth sharing. Uh, when you have an encounter with Jesus, uh, it is worth sharing. Hallelujah. It's your testimony. Hallelujah. When you're down and out, uh, you're hoping somebody will come uh, and bring you some encouragement. Uh, Somebody will come and give you some hope. Now, here come Jesus at the well, even at that midday hour. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. And he's coming with a message of hope. He's coming with love. He's coming with kindness. He's coming in embodied in all the things that that woman was looking for. And she received hope. And she received a life eternal because she was willing to turn from her wicked ways. She was willing to give him that opportunity to become that living water. Hallelujah. Yes. I rejoice in the Lord for my God is more than able. Hallelujah. He's amazing. He's marvelous. He's miraculous. He is wonderful. He is friend. He is Abba. He is daddy. Oh, hallelujah. The song says, me, I will not suffer. I will not beg for bread. Why? He is my daddy. He is my papa. Oh, hallelujah. When you know Papa God, hallelujah. It is well when you know him, your personal relationship with him. Amen. It is the time for the sons and daughters of God to arise. 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 People say lots of things about the church. Because sometimes people in the church will do wrong things. But you know what? It doesn't mean the church is powerless because some people may do some things wrong. God has given us power Amen. in Jesus' name. And the church will always remain the most powerful force on the planet. Amen. The most powerful entity on the planet. Because we are spiritual and we are mandated by the God who created the heavens and the earth. The oceans, you know, everything, hallelujah, that was put in, God allowed it to be so. He spoke and he created. And we were made in his image and likeness. Therefore, we will not stop sharing the gospel. Amen. We will not stop being a witness somebody, but we will bless the Lord. Hallelujah. We will bless the Lord in the morning. We will bless the Lord in the noontime. We will bless the Lord in the nighttime. We will bless the Lord 24-7. Hallelujah. We will just bless him, bless him, bless him. Bible says in verse 3, hallelujah. For our exhortation was not of deceit, nor of uncleanness uncleanness, uh, nor in guile. Uh. So they speak uh, good doctrine, doctrine of Christ, uh, but as we were allowed of God uh, to be put in trust with the gospel, child of God, uh, your stewardship of the gospel. Uh, we will be held accountable for how we handle or mishandle this gospel. Mm -hmm. That's why I tell people careful in sharing the word. Uh, also, uh, that those that want to come with revelation and with truth, uh, you better be sure it is the Lord God Almighty. Uh, we that would want to stand and say we know it all uh, and God didn't give us a word. Uh, we have to stand right just like Paul uh, and the apostles uh, in sharing the word, in teaching the word. Uh, our first thing uh, is to live the word. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You must be living the word to be able to teach the word. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. God want people that will represent, uh, not represent Presenting, just speaking, uh, but as James said, being a doer of the word. Uh, are you a doer of the word? Uh, uh, Facebook live stream family, virtual family. Uh, are you a doer of the word or just a hearer? Uh, let me hear the doers make some noise on the live stream and in the house. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are thankful. Uh, Bible says here, we're going to give an account you. But as we were allowed of God to be put in trust with the gospel, even so we speak, not as pleasing men, but God, which try it our heart. So sometimes you want to package it because who is sitting in the audience? I do not know who may be sitting in the audience because you will not see all the devices that are on the line. But what I do know is whatever God has put in my spirit, that will I speak into the live stream family. 
I am not going to package it because of who is listening. Uh, but whatever God package and download, uh, it is for somebody to receive and be helped. Uh, you want to package it and tailor it to suit uh, somebody uh, that may be a supporter of the ministry but not living right. Uh, and they may be be, you know, one that is financially or one that is moving around and helping you put things together around the building or whatever. Child of God, whatever they are doing, they still have to keep it right if they want to make it to heaven and not bring the name of the Lord into disrepute. So therefore, God will package his word and we will release it as servants of God that we will be entrusted stewards. We will be stewards that will be able to do it how he wants it done. Amen. The word of God is never for how we personally want to deliver it. God will give us what he has to, to deliver his word. And let us look at the next verse. Not as pleasing men, but God, which tried our hearts. For neither at any time used we flattering words, as you know, nor a cloak of covetousness. God is witness. So they worked in integrity. In this time and in this season, I ask you, and for the rest of your life, be responsible and be a person of integrity. Let your yea be yea and your nay be nay. In this time where many things are happening, be honest to yourself and to your God. Do not lead by lies but lead by example based on truth the word of the true and living God a man or a woman without integrity is a man or a woman without honor because God wants integrity he wants people that will be true he do not want people that will say truth outside but not live truth while you're on the inside I have known of many who would say, you know, they would live a particular way outside because that is what people want to see. God does not want what people want to see. He wants to know when he gave you his son and you accepted him that you are now transformed and you will live the life that heaven demands of you. When you take the name of God and you join the kingdom, hallelujah, we are kingdom citizens. And this is not a rebel kingdom, but this is a kingdom of righteousness. And the kingdom of God have rules and regulation. Coming out of a rebel kingdom, it would have been difficult for many. But you know what? God has given us all that we need to transition properly. He has given us his word. He has given us his spirit. He continued to give us daily download. He has has given us people or placed people in our life uh, to encourage us. Uh, he has blessed us, uh, you know, with a mindset that we can be able to, you know, appreciate what he has uh, uh, released to us. But sometimes uh, we are so caught up with the former that we cannot get into the present uh, to move into the future. you got to yeah. cancel the former things. Yeah. you got to keep it all to your mind. Hallelujah. You gotta know you're in a new marriage. You're in a marriage with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. And the Bible said now, for neither at any time use we flattering words, as you know. Amen. God is witness, nor of men sought we glory, neither of you. And this is the thing, nor yet of others, when we might have been burdensome as the apostles of Christ. But we were gentle among you, even as a nurse cherished her children. So being affectionately desirous of you, we were willing to have imparted unto you not the gospel of God only, but also our own souls, because, yes, because you were dear unto us. Hallelujah. So they were zealous for souls and they were self-sacrificing. They had a love for the church. Hallelujah. And child of God, the Bible tells us, For you remember, brethren, our labor and travail, for laboring night and day, because we would not be chargeable unto any of you. We preach unto you the gospel of God. Hallelujah. They supported themselves 
and they had a zealousness for souls. Uh, they were spiritual laborers uh, and they moved around in the industry. They were self-sacrificing. Uh, you have to know that if you are not zealous for souls, uh, then uh, there is uh, a miss in your life because the Bible tells us he that winneth soul is wise uh, and we are called to win souls. Uh, we are not called to win lotto or playway or pick two or, or whatever you have. You all know what it have. Uh, some people tee for chance. Uh, if Christ come and catch you while you're teething your chance and paying at the counter, you will be left behind. We are not called to take chances and gamble, but we are called to live the life of a God-fearing servant. Listen to me. God wants you rich. He will make you rich. The gospel is a gospel that comes with prosperity. Bible tells us, I wish above all things that you be in good health and you prosper just as your soul prosper. Learn the scriptures. Apply the scriptures and you will be visiting those boots. Uh, you will trust God, uh, for he will make a way. Hallelujah. I tell the church already, I've dreamt uh, the numbers. Uh, fully, fully well. Years ago, I think it was about 1995, there about. Uh, I dream fully the numbers. Uh, and listen, I didn't play. Uh, I had need, uh, but God uh, is my supplier. He is my provider. He is my protector. And he will supply all of my needs uh, according to his riches and glory. He does not want me get rich quicker but he wants me to do what I'm called to do I don't look at the people who have I look at the God who gives to me and the Lord who have called me to give back even unto the people I rejoice in what God have done are you comfortable with what the Lord has done for you and is doing for you or are you look at the neighbor and compare yourself or you look at others that are in a social status elite status and you complain to God on a daily basis it's time to change your talk. It's time to change your walk. And it's time to understand it is a war. And it's a spiritual war. And four dimensions of evil are released upon the earth. And we know in Ephesians 6 it shows us we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. But against principalities. Against powers. Against rulers of the dark. And against wicked spirits in heavenly places. Principalities is when you break the principles of God. Lord. You know you're not supposed to, but you, trans you transgress against the Lord. You do it your own way. Child of God, God wants you to stay within the realm, that perimeter that he has called you. Let that hedge of protection within the kingdom keep you. Do not walk away and open doors and walk away from the kingdom. Do not be one that will stray. Do not be a drifter, but be one that will love God and will heed the call. Amen, somebody. we got to heal the call. Heed the call of God upon our lives. Uh, I'll just read uh, on the modern translation uh, and I'll close. Hallelujah. As it deemed the day of prayer. Hallelujah. I thank God for praying. I thank God for Holy Spirit. We know that God is our keeper. He's our friend. And each person must have his own, own relationship. And uh, it is important that we train ourselves and those in our space to love God, to fear the Lord, God-fearing wisdom, and to trust Him even when you cannot see Him. How many of you know of what I speak to trust Him when you cannot even see Him? When you're not even hearing His voice and you are wondering, don't wonder. Be confident in your God. God is looking for men and women that will carry Shekinah glory. I choose to be that vessel. You know, sometimes people will question uh, the authority, even of females in the house of the Lord. And sometimes they question the authority, even of males, of how they will live their life. But I say to you, the authority comes from God uh, and try every spirit. And if it is not of God, uh, and God have you to run, you run. Uh, but once it is of God, and God have you to stand, you stand. Uh, because whether it be man or it be woman, uh, sometimes people may not do it right. Uh, and if you follow the wrong leadership, uh, you will end up in a place uh, where you will be lacking. Uh, you will end up in a place where God cannot bring you out because you are listening to the voice of man only. Bible tells us to try every spirit, whoever your leader is. You must know the spirit of your leader. And you must know that your leader have a leader and it should be the God that created 
the heavens and the earth. Amen. That's why you need to read the Bible. That's why you need to study the word. That's why you need to also have a prayer life. So if your leader is not in sync with the Lord, God, the true God will reveal to you where you should be. If you are planted where he wants you or you are not in this time and in this season, every believer need to build relationship. It's a good time if you never read the Bible to read the Bible from cover to cover. It's a good time to start with Genesis if you never did. Uh, don't just skim through. You know, sometimes when you are watching a series, I don't know, Netflix a series, uh, and you know, sometimes movies, uh, and you're watching movie after movie, and you're saying, yeah, I can't wait to see it. Uh, part three, part four, part five. Uh, get excited about that, uh, about the Bible, not about that. Uh, get excited about the Word of God. Uh, I read chapter 10. I can't wait to get into chapter 11. Uh, I've reached Genesis. I've finished Genesis. Uh, boy, I'm about to start Exodus uh, to see the people, how they went into exile, how they were coming out. Uh, I can't wait. Uh, this is exciting times. Uh, but oh no, all we want to do is see fiction, uh, movie, action, drama, you know, whatever it is. Uh, in this book is full of all uh, the, 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 the drama that you want to see, uh, all the things uh, that you would see that men and women have endured, uh, train the children to love the Bible and read it from early, even today, I believe it's junior church today, this afternoon, uh, uh, around 4 p.m. or thereabout, uh, and you want the children to come in on time uh, in the waiting room so that they can be able to get the entire class. Uh, it's important that we train the children. Uh, if it wasn't important that scripture, what is the scripture children in this house, Provo? What 22? 26. 22 6? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. yeah. You mm. sure? <laughs> Proverbs 22 6. Train up the child in the way he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart. Uh, parents, you are going to be held accountable for not training your children. Let me say it again. Parents, you are going to be held accountable for not training your children in the way of the Lord. I see while service is going on. Uh, that many are children that of that age where they should be sitting and learning, they are playing on their tablets and their devices. And I know that godly parents are supposed to know. The child, if it's a baby, we know. Sometimes you would have to do a little bit of distraction uh, or a little bit of attraction to keep them quiet. Uh, or you are telling me children that sit in a preschool uh, and a primary school, you have to give them a toy. Come on. Uh, we need to understand that the God of this salvation must be honored. Uh, and when it's his time uh, in your teacher's classroom, uh, you cannot give them a, a device when the teacher is talking. Uh, you cannot tell them, play baby, play baby, or play. That's okay. Just put it in their hand. No, when you are home and you are cooking, play baby, play. But when it comes to God time, we give God what is due. Mm -hmm. Because when anything is going wrong, we call upon the same God. I know I will not be light for that, but bless God on the same man. Because as Paul say, no flattering words. Treat treat it as what it is. Tell the truth, amen. Live with integrity. My children know that they could not have played. My former pastors and those that you know would have been a part of the ministry will tell you when I put them seated, they have to sit there. Because you know why? It is the God of our salvation brought them to the earth. Uh, when medical science said no, God said yes. Uh, so honor God from a baby uh, until you depart this earth. Uh, when they get married and go, there's not much I can do but only pray. Uh, but I have solidly given them the word of God day after day. As long as they live in our space, uh, we will continue to do what we have to do. Parents, God is going to judge. Every parent. Amen. Uh, let me just read this and we close. I trust God you are enjoying the word of God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Two, if the mommy is on or the daddy with the child I pray for that went to the hospital, the Mount Hope on Tuesday night, please text me on personal text and tell me how that child is doing. Amen. Hallelujah. So I will know. I'm trusting God for a full recovery in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Though the signs and the symptoms were evident, we trust God for our victory. Hallelujah. And we continue to bless God. So if you are on mommy, text me personally. I will see it as it comes up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Bible says, I just read it now, the translation. You yourselves know, dear brothers and sisters, uh, that our visit to you was not a failure. You know how badly we had been treated at Philippi just before we came to you, and how much we suffered there. Yet our God gave us courage to declare his good news to you boldly, even though we were summoned by many who opposed us. Uh, 
So you can see that we were not preaching with any deceit or impure purposes or trickery. The word of God should be clear. There shouldn't be trickery for money. There shouldn't be trickery for things, possession. There shouldn't be trickery because, uh, you know, we want you to come out of religion and come into Christ. Uh, the word of God is pure. The word of God has been proven and tested. Uh, and currently they are still trying to prove otherwise. Uh, but it has passed the test of time. Huh? Hallelujah. Yes. It is the most read book in the universe, the B-I-B-L-E, and it is the book for me. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord, and we give God glory on a daily basis. He did not use trickery. The man of God had the Spirit of God, and the Spirit of God, our paraclete, our helper, our enablement, he has given us that peace that we can deliver the gospel of Jesus Christ with all fair, with boldness, because we are anchored in his word, the word of the mighty God. He said, so, verse 3, you can see that we are not preaching with any deceit or impure purposes or trickery. Trickery, for we speak as messengers who have been approved by God to be entrusted. This is why I spoke of the stewardship. Messengers of God entrusted with the good news. I thank God that God have entrusted me with the good news. I love what I'm called to do in that God I desire more than anything else in this life. I have seen him when I lay in a bed of affliction. When my eyes were dim and no vision I've experienced the Lord. When the enemy would tell me your eyes sight will not return. God says yes it will. When the ophthalmologist couldn't find anything wrong with the eye, the Lord said to me, Daughter, your sight will return in due season and through faithful prayer and faithful living. I've re received my sight. Uh, and I give God thanks because uh, every step of the way, everything I encountered, uh, because God uh, is God and He's true to His word, uh, He has given me miracle after miracle after miracle. Not one, uh, but many, many miracles. Uh, sometimes when you are going through, life uh, and you're in the valley of decision you wonder what to do uh, I tell you you can count on Jesus uh, you can trust him hallelujah you can trust him day in and day out uh, no need to fear because Jesus is on the main line hallelujah he's on the main line 24 7 uh, you may miss uh, you know you may miss me when you dial my number but when you dial a prayer you dial a praise you dial a worship uh, Jesus on the main line to take that worship uh, he He's on the main line to receive that prayer. He's on the main line working it out on your behalf. Hallelujah, somebody. And the Bible tells us our purpose is to please God, not people. He's the one who examines the motives of our heart. Never once did we try to win you with flattery, as you very well know. And God is our witness that we were not just pretending to be your friends so you would give us money. As for praise, we have never asked for it from you or anyone else. Now, for some people, be it ministers or be it people who work in the ministry of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, if you don't give them kudos on a regular basis, I've encountered that with people. They tend to get annoyed and leave the church because they see all what they are doing. But they don't see what others are doing. So it's like every Sunday, I have to call your name. And say, I want to thank Sister Allison for cleaning the church. And next Sunday, I want to thank Sister Allison for just for always being there. And the following Sunday, I want to thank Sister Allison. Because if I look around and I see nobody, Sister Allison is there. I want to thank God again, the end of the month come for Sister Allison. And you want kudos all the time. And child of God, you should not look for earthly praise uh, because Amen. God uh, has given us what it takes to stand uh, and he's recording everything uh, and where it is due unto you uh, and it is missed, God will ensure you get your your dues. Why? Bible says God is a debtor to no man uh, and if you sweep the house of the Lord, uh, God will give you uh, even uh, that just reward. Uh, if you bring a glass of water even to the minister or whoever it is uh, or somebody in the ministry, you will get a just reward. Uh, 
that God is a debtor to no man. He owes no man nothing or he owes no man anything. So therefore, don't look for kudos for man. You give God praise. And as you give God praise, God will set you up to be blessed on the earth. Hallelujah. Paul said we weren't looking for any praise. How many of you looking for praise for what you do? I tell you, sometimes it's sad. I've encountered it and people leave the church because they said to me, to my face, I will not give them that praise. And uh, child of God, it's not about praising oneself. I tell people when they testify, try and not use my name. So if you use it once, it's fine. But it's the God of our salvation. Yes, you respect. You respect your leader. And, uh, you know, you'll be in that place where you are, you know, honoring of your leader. But the God of your salvation should be the one that you are speaking about throughout your testimony. Even if you speak once about your leader, it's fine. But your leader should not be more than the God in your testimony. Hallelujah. Because it's God who saved us. Hallelujah. It's God who brought us through. Notice when I'm speaking, I speak more of God. I'm not speaking about basically those that, that even that, that are part, I will thank them and I will give God honor for them. But I thank the God of my salvation more so. Why? Is he who made a way? Is he who kept me? When all else failed, Jesus never failed. Amen. Hallelujah. So I don't need any praise from man. We thank God for the acknowledgement. Uh, but we are looking uh, in hope uh, towards that great day. We are in faith. We are in unison uh, that that great day is coming somebody. For some it's going to be a great day and for some it's going to be a sad, 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 weeping day. Hallelujah. How many of you know there is no salvation in hell? You can say Father, forgive me for the preachers were saying while I was on earth. But then too late it shall be. Because there is no forgiveness in hell. Now is the time to ask God to forgive you. Not when you reach. Some people say, I wouldn't believe until I see like doubting Thomas. Well, you're in trouble. Because now is the time to believe and have that faith. The Bible says, as for praise, we have never asked for it from you or anyone else. As apostles of Christ, we certainly had a right to make some demands of you. But we were as gentle among you as a mother, feeding and caring for her own children. We love you so much that we gave you not only God good news, but our own lives too. Father, we just thank you. We bless you. And we give you the praise, the honor, and the glory for your word today. We thank you for the saints that are children in. We thank you, mighty God, for every opportunity to share your word and to make your praise glorious. On this day, we are thankful that you have kept us, you have preserved our lives, you have preserved our health, and you have given us that peace. We say thank you, Abba Father, for greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And we say thank you for your love and your loyalty towards your people. We bow in humble adoration, uh, thanking you, Lord, uh, and giving you the honor and giving you the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, whatever the situation uh, with your people today, I lift them before you, uh, those that are in a struggle, those that are in a place in a valley of decision, uh, those that are in a place where they want to return and they're in a backsliding state. Uh, I pray that your divine intervention, uh, Father, that through this word you will reach them. Uh, for those that are struggling on the fence, uh, in that they are in the world and in the church, uh, I'm declaring wholeness, uh, a mindset of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, I declare, Father God, uh, your peace upon them today, uh, that your people, Father, will not fa uh, faint with fear, but Lord, they will stand righteous in the midst of persecution, uh, in the midst of trials and testing, uh, and I declare through the blood of Jesus that they will overcome uh, every test, uh, and they will pass all, uh, Father, that even when it comes uh, to testing and tribulation, they will know that you are in control. Uh, I bless your people today. In the name of Jesus. To the person that has been vomiting badly. Your, your chest is like it's acidic. And with the vomiting, you are fearful because you're seeing other signs. The body is weak. And you're wondering if you have fever as well because of what is happening. I declare healing right now. 
Father God, say fear not. I declare healing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, touch, anoint, and let healing take place from the inside out. That there shall be a testimony of great are you, Lord. How great are you, Lord. I declare it done in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There's somebody that is on the live stream. And you believe your spouse have it. Hallelujah. You're seeing manifestation uh, and you're afraid to do the PCR testing. I'm declaring by faith that uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, there will be a shift in the condition. Uh, but where the test needs to be done, that the strength of our Father rests upon you, that you will go and do what is necessary. But I declare first, Lord, your miraculous touch, that by their faith they shall be made whole. Just like the woman with the issue of blood, I declare wholeness right now. That whatever they are seeing, I am declaring God a wind of change blowing into that very home. Yes, changing the situation right now, right now, in the name of Jesus. I speak your peace and I thank you for you, too. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. So, saints of God, we do one more prayer and we close. Um, we want to pray for the nation. And we thank God for those that are looking in from other nations of the earth. We thank God that we can acknowledge Father God. I was just looking in and reading you know, the news. Some people think prayer is not effective. Statements have been made and I, I, I find, you know, it was strange. You know, but pray. The effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man avails much. Meaning making tremendous power available to him. There's a power available to the righteous that will not be available to any other individual on the earth. And we cannot discount a day of prayer when it was set. We will do it or we are told to do it according to the word of God. So we are standing in prayer and in faith according to the word of God. We are not to study the others, how they are doing, but we know what we are called to do. And we are called to pray 24-7, and we are still going to pray. Amen. So everybody aboard on the live stream, are you aboard on the live stream as we pray? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I was amazed when I heard that statement, that, that prayer, a day of prayer, and, you know, more whatever coming in will not help the situation. Child of God, never discount prayer. Amen. Pray works. True. Prayer works. Hallelujah. Prayer works. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we want to pray. Father, we thank you for sweet TNT. A nation named after the Trinity, the Father, the Word, and the Spirit. La Trinity. We thank you, mighty God, for this nation, this Caribbean island. We thank you also for all the islands of the earth. And we thank you, Lord, that even many are recovering uh, and uh, even they are able to open up again with or without mask. Uh, but Father, in this time, uh, we come to our very own nation, Trinidad and Tobago, uh, directing the prayer concerning this nation uh, with even uh, the mass number of infections daily concerning the death that has rapidly increased uh, and concerning, Father, even uh, when measures are taken, uh, Father, for the safety of the citizenry to lock down the country and have an SOE for a time on a season. I'm declaring as your servant, as we as the Church of Jesus Christ stand virtual today, but united or connected in spirit, we are declaring in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, a shift for our nation held, a shift in the name of Jesus. We ask your mercy, Father God, where they have been the spirit of error practiced in this nation, whatever that was wrong, and whatever things, Father God, that you have been displeased with, 
it as your servant. I ask, I petition, I stand Father God as a representative on planet Earth for our nation, declaring God and asking your mercy before your judgment. That Father, where the people have walked in error, that your mercy will now, Father God, flow. I declare your mercy, mighty God. That there will be a shifting and a change. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your mercy. And Father Lord, let there be a shifting, let there be a lifting, that your people, that this nation will be able to come out stronger in the name of Jesus. Let them see the hand of the mighty God, of the true and living God that is able to intervene. Father, we know that you are supernatural. And as you open gates for Paul and Silas, as you open gates for Peter, even as you open gates for John, Father, we are saying, God, open gates for this nation that we'll be able to walk out of this thing with great testimony, saying, look what the Lord has done. We declare, Father, over every family, Father, even those that will come to know you in this time, we know that the word of God will continue to have free course. We are saying for even the new believers that are coming in. I declare strength and they will not faint in this time. I declare the right people that are connected to them that they will be able to press forth in the name of Jesus. That your blood mighty God will flow upon this nation. We declare Trinidad and Tobago is blood wash. We say wash us in your blood mighty God from all sin and all unrighteousness. And a people mighty God when you look down that sin will not come up to your nostril, but there will be a wind of change. I declare from this that the nation will recognize that there is a God and you are Jehovah God. Your name is Jesus, name above all names. I declare peace upon this nation. And I declare, Father God, that in the midst of this trying time, it will not be politicking, but it will be, Father God, wholeness for this land. True Father, genuine concern on all sides. I'm declaring, mighty God, that the peace that passes all understanding, the wisdom of heaven will rest upon government leaders as they will have to take the initiative to bring even legislation. And Father God, implement measures, uh, some mandatory uh, and some required, Father, for this nation. I'm declaring those of the advisors uh, will be spirit-led. Uh, it will be led by the God of the heavens, the God who created the heavens and the earth. Uh, that whatever is implemented, uh, it will be implemented, mighty God. Uh, that it will curb this thing that have run like wildfire. That have been, uh, Father God, moving through the land, taking lives, infecting families, uh, and causing a disruption and a disturbance, uh, causing a downturn in the economy uh, and causing collapse uh, even of jobs uh, and of businesses. Uh, we are declaring today, God, that a wind of change will take place, uh, that even as uh, the Father God, the lockdown continues for another six weeks, uh, continuing with the SOE, we are declaring, God, in the time and in that season, uh, mighty God, a great shifting will take place uh, as people will come to their senses, uh, their senses like the prodigal son. Uh, even when he walked away for a time, those that have walked away, we are declaring that they are coming home. For there is room at the cross. Room at the cross today, my God. Father, we come in, sweet TNT, Trinidad and Tobago, into your hand. And we declare the blood of Jesus. Saturate us. Saturate the leaders of this nation. That their air will hear what the spirit of truth says. Right people in their life and in their spaces to give godly counsel that the advisors will be godly, Father, that it will bring about a change. We just thank you, my Lord, and we bless you. In Jesus' precious name, Jesus. and amen. Hallelujah. 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 We just thank you, and we bless you. We just give God praise. I did not get an update. Sister on the child. I guess you all are sleeping at this time or something. But I would have liked to know before we go off giving God thanks and praise that it is well. Today, 
remain indoors as we are told and in that place of prayer oh God is an awesome God for those of you that you don't have tithes I will pray over it and you can keep it in your Bible or wherever you will normally keep it and I'm going to declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the blessings upon it hallelujah glory glory so you have your tithe, you can hold it in your hand. Some of you have asked what to do at this point in time because of how the sickness is. You hold all the other option during the course of the week as we have our Zoom session, I'll let you know. Um, we can do it direct to the bank for some of you that are able to do online transfer. But you let me know from the slip so I will know because I can't go in to get the information. So you let me know so that I can send off the prayer. So Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for those that will hold their ties even in their hand right now. I'm declaring uh, to the power of the mighty God, uh, Lord, your blessing. Even in this time and in this season that have been difficult, I'm declaring, Lord, those that have seen it fit to continue to assist in building the kingdom, that your doors remain open and the gospel continue to have free course. We say thank you for them and we release the blessings of Jehovah God, that their bread baskets will never be empty, that it will be full to running over. Father, even as they will remember the house of the Lord in this challenging time, we are saying thank you, Lord, for themselves, their families, and whatever need they have may be met, even as they have been a contributor, Lord, to keeping your doors open. We say thank you, mighty God, for your blessings upon it. I declare, Father God, as they gave, it shall come upon them, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. We thank you, almighty God, that even as we are your treasures on the earth today, I pronounce the blessing upon all and I'm declaring whatever father that even the others would have done in the house of the Lord during the time and in the season where the house of the Lord would have been open whatever faithful activities that they were engaged in to be a blessing I declare it will come up before you as a, me a memorial maybe in this time of challenges they may not be able to give and we say thank you for them also mighty God that even as they would have given up their labor or whatever area it would have been uh, and declare it come back before you that where they may not have jobs or finances uh, Lord for their labor of love in the ministry I declare provision is sure I declare Father God uh, that your covering is sure your anointing is sure over their lives uh, and I bless your people I thank you for this day I thank you for your word and I declare Father it is well in Jesus mighty name Amen and Amen uh, so Saints of God, we thank God today for the blessings of the Lord, which make rich and add no sorrow. At this point in time, we want to remember, we are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. We thank God for his faithful love and yours. We thank God for his testimonies that are coming in. Truly, we don't take the praise, but we give him the praise. That's what Paul was saying. I never ask of any praise. If you have been like that and wanting kudos all your life, know that that is not how God set up his business. So we bless the Lord. Much love to you. Stay strong. Stay covered. I believe next Sunday is the first Sunday. And we go into our Sunday fast with communion again. And Monday prayer. Tuesday prayer. We thank God for all of you. We love you with the love of the Lord. Stay strong. Stay blessed. Stay covered. Continue to do what is safe and continue to be one that is willing to be a witness for our Father. Blessings, blessings. We are Lighthouse and Palm and Sanctuary, 21 Yard Street, Chevrolet, Trinidad, West Indies. Thanking you for being on the live stream on this Sunday morning. Blessings, love, peace. Uh, may the Lord continue to shine upon you. In Jesus' majestic name.